Final step, attach robotic ignition system. Thank you for using help desk technology. citizens of my race the blog have a small problem our planet has become so polluted overpopulated and poisonous that we are no longer able to dwell here but I chairman Drake have a solution we are constructing a pristine new world using the choicest planetary components available so what does this mean to you you might ask Using highly sophisticated technology, which you couldn't possibly understand, we will be extracting a large portion of your planet and adding it to our new one. Unfortunately, this change in mass will cause your planet to spin out of control and drift into the sun where it will explode into a flaming ball of gas, but of course, sacrifices must be made. <laughs> Thank you for your cooperation. And if you don't like it, you can take your whiny, sniveling, snot-nosed populations, form a line behind me, and kiss my- We're still on? Well, turn it off, you idiot! This could be a problem. Take care of it. Whoa, this is great! So that's where I've been stuck this whole time. Please return your appendages to the steering mechanism, sir. Huh? Oh, right. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, and by the way, you could stop calling me Sir. The name's Ratchet. Pleased to make your acquaintance, Sir. You got a name? My serial number is V54296. Oops. I'll just call you Clank for short. Hang on. So, you see, it would be most beneficial if your citizens were not in the city when my workers begin removing it. Preposterous! I will not stand for this. Unfortunately, you have no choice in the matter. Let's just see what Captain Quark has to say about that, my good man. <laughs> I don't see what's so funny. Captain Quark could dispatch you without even breaking a sweat, you, you puny. You have now officially worn out your welcome and my patience. This is your last chance. Stop this madness now! Okay, wait. You're right. I will withdraw my troops. Really? No! He's all yours, gentlemen. Try not to leave any marks. Mayday, Mayday! This is the solar ship Radical. We seem to be under attack from the planet's surface. Relax, kid. It looks like some sort of fireworks display. Probably in your honor. Whoa! That was close! Ah! Pipe down, I can't concentrate. Oh, we've been hit! Uh, an unexpected detour. When we land, I'll see if I can scare up an exhibition for you. We're not gonna live that long! Kid, let's am scream! Eject! Eject! Has this ever happened to you? Hi, I'm Captain Quark, and believe me, there's nothing worse than staring down a Blargy and Snaggle Beast from the inside and knowing your equipment isn't functioning properly. That's why I come to Al's Robo Shack for all my electronic needs. Al has been the exclusive repair shop for my super electro gadgets since I was knee high to a sand mouse. If Al can't fix it, it's not broke. Right, Al? Ah. You said it, pal. 
So if you're fighting crime or just fighting grime, <laughs> come to Al's RoboShack in Metropolis for all your robotic repairs. Al's RoboShack, it's quarktastic. Greetings, Executive Chairman Drek. Dispense with the pleasantries, Lieutenant. My sources tell me you're behind schedule. You must prepare this planet to be harvested for our new world. Yes, sir. As you can see, everything is moving along as planned. I'm counting on you, Lieutenant. And as your former commander can tell you, I don't take disappointment well. Yes, sir. I won't fail. Yes, quite lovely. That should just about do it. Commander, we are finished with this world. Commence towing our planet to its next destination. Lieutenant! Yes, sir. You have fulfilled your tree quota. Barely. We are ready to return to base. Not so fast, Lieutenant. Just because we don't need any more trees doesn't mean they should have them. Destroy everything. <laughs> This is Darla Gratch, reporting live from Blackwater City. We've just learned that Captain Quark will be presenting the grand prize at the Intergalactic Hoverboard Championship, which will be held here over the next few days. In related news, this planet has recently been suffering from an infestation of strange amoeboid creatures. The city's administration has assured this reporter that every step has been taken to eradicate these nuisances. Darla Gratch, Channel 2 News. Is your current occupation leaving a rotten taste in your mouth? Then you need to know about BTS, Blog Tactical Research Station. Hi, I'm Supreme Executive Chairman Drek, and we here at BTS are seeking motivated individuals to fill positions in these exciting careers. Grind boot tester, warhead assembly technician, mutant animal husbandry, robot repair man, suck cannon test dummy, and administrative assistant. So call BTS. Build our weapons while you build your future. I'm calling BTS today. What makes one man toil in obscurity while another becomes a hero? Is it strength, compassion, determination, or just pure blind luck? Wise men through the ages have struggled with that very question. But Captain Quark knows the secret. That's why he's been able to defeat more despots, rescue more damsels in distress, and save more civilizations than any other hero in the galaxy. Now is your opportunity to see if you've got the stuff heroes are made of. This infobot contains coordinates to Quark's secret base. Can you quickly conquer Quark's killer cannonade of confounded contraption? Can you quickly quark? Can can you quarkly quick? No. Oh, just make your way through the defenses to the center of the base. Prove yourself. Learn the secret, and earn your place in galactic history! Consult your doctor before attempting any strenuous exercise. Not responsible for death or dismemberment, your results may vary. We're pinned down! We're pinned down! The ships are hammering our position from the air! That was a little too close! We need support! Now! Actually, I need support! My entire battalion went AWOL and left me to fight this war on my own! If the enemy doesn't kill those guys, I will! I'm not gonna last much longer! Request an immediate assistance! Over and out! Back so soon? Oh, you're talking to me! I'm not in the habit of talking to myself, you buffoon! Did you get rid of them? Yes! No. Well, I, I had this plan and I thought... You thought? You thought! I do the thinking around here, you slug brain idiot! I simply needed you to eliminate those two nuisances before they could cause any real trouble! But I wanted to- Do you still want to be the highly paid spokesman for my planet? Yeah? Then the next time I send you to do a job, I want results! Now get out of my sight! Greetings, Supreme Executive Chairman Drek. As you can see, we're about to test our newest automated pilot's helmet. This helmet allows pilots to control our latest high-tech fighters using only their thoughts. Please enjoy the demonstration. We still have a, a few minor adjustments to make. Hello, 
once again, fellow blog. I hope this message finds you well. As many of you know, our home planet is no longer habitable. We've abandoned our factories, our laboratories, and our happy lives because of the encroaching pollution, leaving much behind. Fortunately, the nearby planets will supply us with all we need to create our new home, which is nearing completion. Once our scientists locate the ideal orbit, our new world will be perfect. So reserve your space now. Prime locations are filling up fast. Good day. Cities are full of smog, swamps are full of muck, and tar pits are full of tar. But here at Joe Y Resort, the sun shines 24 hours a day. Visitors get a free O2 mask to explore our warm waters. The benign marine life will welcome you to the big blue world under the sea. Uh, you can also use our complimentary flippers to partake in speed swimming. <laughs> so come to Joe Y Resort and leave your world and your troubles behind. Hello again, everyone. Supreme Executive Chairman Drek here to fill you in on our progress. We have now found the perfect orbit for our planet, one which will allow for the optimum temperature all year round. However, there is a planet now occupying that orbit, and sadly, for its few insignificant inhabitants, it must be destroyed. And that's why we've created this! The Planet Buster Maximus, a device capable of blowing an entire planet into subatomic particles. We're quite proud of it. Here's how it works. We attach the Planet Buster to this ship, fly it into orbit around the planet, and let it go! Kaboom! <laughs> quite ingenious, really. Once our trained professionals put the finishing touches on our new planet, everything will be complete. Thank you! Goodbye. Men, you are about to embark on a very dangerous mission. We will be launching a heavily armed surprise attack from our new moon base against a completely unarmed planet. Actually, that doesn't sound too dangerous. <clears throat> Nevertheless, your orders are simple. Destroy anything that moves. Steal the power generators from Gorda City. Then, destroy anything that doesn't move. <laughs> oh, and don't forget, have fun. It is time to begin your new assignment. Ah, a photo op by your shiny new shuttle. Terrific idea. Oh, you really are an idiot. What? You are to take that shuttle to the moon base and ambush those two miscreants when they arrive. Oh, yes. <laughs> Who are they again? <sighs> those two! Oh, of course. <laughs> there is just one problem. I'm, uh... Too washed up for ground combat? True. That is why I will be loading you my Starfighter. You can still fly, can't you? It's settled then. You will acquire the Starfighter once you get to the moon. Screw this up, and the endorsement deal is off! <gasps> but that would ruin me! You wouldn't. <laughs> Try me. This is Darla Gratch reporting live from Gorda City. This once peaceful planet is being torn apart today in an unprovoked attack. It now seems certain that Supreme Executive Chairman Drek will not be dissuaded in his efforts to destroy the galaxy for his own selfish needs. All hope certainly seems lost. Darla Gratch, Channel 2 News. Afraid to go out at night? Afraid to go out during the day? Just plain afraid? Then you need this! The Ultra Mech Unlimited. This mech is the ultimate in personal defense system. Blood Industries is now taking pre-orders. Get yours before it's too late. Well, I guess Quark didn't eliminate them. <laughs> How observant of you. Thank you, sir. Now, if you were only so diligent in doing your own job. Yes, sir. <laughs> Since our new planet is nearly finished, we need a plan to remove the world that is occupying our selected orbit. This time, it must be absolutely foolproof. Time is wasting. New, new, new! From Gadgetron, the makers of weapons and other fine products, comes the Hollow Guys. With the Hollow Guys, you can fool robots into thinking you're one of them. Match your wits against other robots. Work on robotic assembly lines. 
Attend robot parties. The Hollow Guys. Available only at Gadgetron headquarters for a limited time. Not to be used for illegal purposes. We're only in sanctioned areas. You will not actually become a robot. This is starting to become annoying. I'm not sure why I bother with you incompetent idiots. All right, I'll try this one more time. You are my most elite troops. I'm sending you down to the planet's surface to destroy those troublemakers. Now go! Oh, and if you have to destroy Gadgetron to get rid of them, so be it. My fellow Blob, our synthetic world is now fully functional and ready for habitation. However, there is one small obstacle in our way. This pathetic lump of a planet. Due to some blunder of fate, it happens to occupy the galaxy's most perfect orbit. But no more. Behold, the Deplanetizer! The most powerful laser ever created! Soon, we'll move the Deplanetizer into place just above the planet's surface. I will, of course, be on hand to press the button that will blow this mud ball to smithereens. No one will even miss it. See you then! Tonight on Blonde TV, the event you have all been waiting for, the total annihilation of an entire planet! Witness the power, the destruction, and the nothingness that follows. So join Ultimate Supreme Executive Chairman Drek as he pushes the button that ends one world and begins another. Then, stay tuned for the galaxy's funniest superhero bloopers, featuring Captain Quark. Do you have a problem with unwanted hair? Is painful itching in your nether regions causing you undue embarrassment? Do you just plain stink? Then you need this! The Gadgetron Personal Hygienator! Hi, I'm Steve... McQuark. And this little baby can take care of any grooming needs that are just too much trouble for you to handle yourself. Allow me to demonstrate. Ah, yeah. Oh, mommy. Turn it off! Turn it off!